Hi everybody, welcome back to Pago News Around the World here. And today we're going to be taking a look at Pillsbury's release of the Pillsbury Doughboy Giggle Plush that talks from 1997. So let's get to it. Before we get into today's video guys, I'd like to talk to you about why I haven't been uploading videos is because I've been doing schoolwork, so I go to school, so that's why I've been so busy these last few weeks. So, your guys' best guess, instead of waiting a whole week, I would maybe make a video Friday like it is today, or videos that I will be doing might be like Saturday or Sunday, but I would probably count on Sunday because that's when I usually can upload. But today we can probably upload Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe Monday, but that I have schoolwork to do basically that whole week. Basically, I only have Saturday and Sunday off as your best bet for me to make videos. So... That's why I've just been wanting to talk about. So, I know this video, as you guys can see, the Pillsbury Doughboy in front of us. Which we are going to be taking a look at here in a few seconds. But, I know in my State Pop Backpack video that I said that I was probably going to be... These Army Men figures were going to be coming soon. Well, I tried to upload those videos... A lot of times and I was just getting really bad internet connection so I'm still trying to trim down the videos to make them shorter so that way I can post them and you guys can see them so I know it said that those army men figures are coming soon there is two parts to those just the, for a little secret well for a little surprise as you guys might know so when it like becomes summertime, when school's all over, then I'll be uploading lots of videos in the summertime. But since I've been so busy, that's, that's because of school, like I've already said. So, let's take a look at the Pillsbury Doughboy. So, here is the box Pillsbury Doughboy. Like I've already said this, guys, but Pillsbury's release of the Pillsbury Doughboy Giggle Plush that talks from 1997. So, let's get to it. I know you guys have been waiting on my videos. I apologize for the wait. You know, busy and all that and stuff. So, let's take a closer look at this uh, Pillsbury Plush. So it says right here, the Pillsbury Doughboy poke my tummy. And then here's a glance at it. And right here, as you guys can see, it says Pillsbury, try me, I giggle with an air, and then that circle. And then age is throwing up, fun for all. As you guys can see right here, I bought this plush. Or this giggle talking plush Pillsbury Doughboy. Um, the box is actually yellowed. I guess it was sitting out in the sun for a very long time, I'm assuming. The figure seems to be, the plush seems to be in really good condition. It might look like he's really dirty because he probably has a, probably has a, some, as you guys can see right here, there's like a dark spot right there. And then his, uh, what do you call it, tie has some spots, some black spots on it. So there's um, that for the front. So uh, let's turn it around. So here it says Pillsbury, Doughboy, Try Me I Giggle, Fun For All. Then right here 
is the actual picture of what it's supposed to look like if it was really brand new. Um, let's turn it around. There you go. It's Pillsbury again, the Pillsbury Doughboy, Try Me I Giggle, and here's a really good look at him. Poke My Tummy, item 41500. Fun for all. Then right there, if you guys can see it or not, 1997. So this Pillsbury came out in 1997 and it was made, well made in China, but I think it was put on the shelves. And then right here, it says a Pillsbury Doughboy plush is a great companion for anyone simply press for anyone simply press down on the doughboy's tummy to hear him giggle he's a great friend that's fun for all so there's a close look at that this is a hold on guys before we before i talk about that guys see this again um there's some damage right here, and if you turn him around to the front, right here, um, you could actually, like that's broke off of him. Well, not off of him, but off of the box. And then right here, you're supposed to be able, you know, press down on his uh, tummy. You guys can see, hold on. Let's try to find his uh, tummy here. See, I'm um, I'm pressing it and it is not working at all. Which, it doesn't mean that he's broken and he can't talk. You have to add batteries to him. So you have to basically, I have to get him out of his box, clean him, put some new batteries in him, and he'll start giggling again. Like he should. Then here at the front, which we've already talked about, Pillsbury, the Pillsbury Doughboy, fun for all. Then the item number, if you guys want to see right here. We can turn him upside down, lay him down. For some reason, there's an X right here, and you can see how yellow that tape is. Item number again, Pillsbury. Stamp up. Um, he actually has his, um, what do you call it, like, his hat is basically, like, tied to the box. If you look on the very bottom right here, you can see there's two little holes right there, even though it's kind of hard to see. And there's a little bit of ripping right here, but that's fine. That his legs are not tied down. I guess not. If you guys are wondering, I bought this off Macari. Um, it was, um, I think to start out with it was 20 bucks, but because of, you know, shipping, it was like $10 for shipping. So I basically had to pay $30 for this figure. Um, really amazing vintage Pillsbury Giggle Plush, which I'm really happy I bought for a really cheap price because I know carded or boxed things can go for a pretty penny. So I got this for a really great deal. So if you guys are wanting to like buy vintage stuff I would look at Macari um eBay sometimes Amazon can have some good things maybe um those are the only three places that I know to buy vintage toys besides Walmart Target Toys R Us a few Guys are in Canada. I know you guys still have a Toys R Us, but everyone else around here does not have a Toys R Us, which sucks. 
it was a it was sad to see the Toys R Us go. So just um see you guys can see it right there in the front. Um before we get out of here guys I would uh like to say a few things. Thank you for um what's his uh name? I I don't know why I can't really remember his name. The one who subscribed to this channel. Uh thank you so much for subscribing, man. That is totally awesome thank you um for the comment because that means the world to me that actual people are watching besides you guys seem to really like the pillsbury compilation or pillsbury commercial compilation i got 130 views on that well thank you for watching yeah boy 55 i would also check out his channel too because he is super awesome and super supportive to pile news around the world thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and commenting and what he said was i wish i was pillsbury doughboy friend he's awesome yeah same thing with me here I would like to be his friend too. And thanks to uh, Bananas. Is it Bananas? B A N A N A S. I would check out their channel, which is. They type P F I love this. Um, yeah, boy 55. I've um, looked at your channel. Awesome. You has have a channel that's super awesome um so anyway just flat out just thank you for subscribing to this channel um i'll try to post videos daily if i can i'll do it whenever i can so i uh, just thank you all for watching this video and all the views, I know those aren't like comments or likes, but that just means that actual people are watching this and not just no one watching this at all. So before we get out of here, I would like to uh, say let's do a 360 on this Pillsbury Giggle Plush from 1997 and then I'll get out of here. Before we do a 360, if you guys look right here, this hole, he smells vintage, like really vintage. It has not been opened. I checked the tape, the tape was old, the tape just came off, and there was a circle piece of plastic that came right here that fell off too, but that's okay. I mean, what are you going to do anyways, you know? So let's do a uh, 360. So here he is. So let's do a 360 of him. Maybe if you guys want to see the top a bit. There you guys go. It's really kind of hard to see. So we got a 360 of this Pillsbury. Just still going. Love the artwork and detail they put into this. Really awesome. I love the old detail they had on this. I would recommend if you guys find this toy in box for a really cheap price, maybe $30 is your best bet. I would not buy the one on eBay that is asking $3,000 for it because that to me is just really ridiculous. So, uh. There's a 360 view of the Pillsbury. Um, thank you um, guys for watching. But, but before we get out of here, I'd just like to say that I know October is coming up really soon. We're going to be doing a lot of Halloween content for October. 
You guys are really going to want to watch that stuff because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be scary and spooky and some things that aren't spooky. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you right back here on Pogo News Around the World. Bye. If you guys would like to see more vintage toys, please subscribe to Pogo News Around the World here, and we can make that happen. Check right here to see what's coming soon.